Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. So y'all, we made it. Welcome to 2020. Um, this is exciting. Uh, I just really feel like this is going to be a really exciting year for all of us. Uh, not just an exciting year, but a really a, an exciting decade to come. So congratulations to all of us that made it through the hell that has been the last, I want to say two and a half years. I know for many of us, there was a massive activation that happened in the summer of 2017. I know that's when my activation really happened, <laughs> like big time. And then, you know, 2018, 2019, 2019 especially though, were periods of purging and healing and letting go of things that no longer serve us so that we can create space for that which we truly desire and what we really want in our lives. So welcome to that decade where it seems that this stuff is gonna be coming through. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. And also, I'm very excited for you guys to see the readings for this month, um, for January of 2020. Uh, as I was doing them, you know, they were all ugh, all coming out really great. Even though there were some, you know, challenging parts for certain signs or certain situations, ultimately, though, it's all a good thing. And it's all, um, Spirit is saying, even now, it's a process of healing and... Um, uh, process of healing that is taking place in order for us to really break free from the chains and do what it is we truly desire in our lives yeah so just a few things um i want to mention first if you are interested in getting a personal reading please don't hesitate to email me all of the information is in the description box below um just keep in mind that if you are looking for a private a personal reading your best bet is to just email me first as that's where I'm most likely going to direct you. You can hit me up on Instagram. That one is a pretty good option. I'm, However, I'm going to be asking you for your email address anyway, so you may as well just want to email me if you want to do that. Do not send any inquiries through Facebook. I will not be taking uh, private reading inquiries through Facebook. Yes, that is just not as a reliable source for communication at least in my opinion, as I've experienced moving forward, yeah? Email is always the best, but also Instagram is a good way too. You can find all of that information, the link to my Facebook page, the link to my my Instagram page, and my email address, along with all of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and prices in the description box below, yeah? Um, so for the readings this month, Oracle Guidance is coming again from the Earth Warriors Oracle. I really, really love this deck. This was a gift from one of our subscribers here. Thank you so much, Sam. I really love this deck. Um, and then the readings themselves are structured a little bit differently. First of all, I highly recommend that everybody watches the Capricorn reading as we are in Capricorn season right now, or at least as for the month of January. Um, a very happy birthday to all the Capricorns out there, by the way, and also a very happy birthday to the January Aquarians. Yeah. But um, I do recommend that people do watch the Capricorn reading because even if you don't have Capricorn in your chart, uh, it can give you a good amount of insight as to um, you know what you could expect during Capricorn season. Moving Moving forward, I do think I want to do that more often. I may actually just start doing a reading, a separate reading for the season that we're moving into because I kind of feel like, uh, you know, I don't want you guys' readings to get hijacked when it's supposed to be like, say, for Capricorn, but it turns into a big old collective reading. So that's the way it worked this time. Moving forward, I think I am going to do a separate reading because I think it would be good just to have a general reading just to see what's going on for the collective um, in terms of the different seasons that we're moving into. Also, for the readings, I have now included Jupiter in the situation. And it's funny because for the last like six months of 2019, I was kind of hearing myself say and want to say Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I just never actually did it. Um, but starting this year, it is a thing. Um, Jupiter is a great way, like say if you're looking in terms of love, if you're looking for like a husband or your like a masculine counterpart, you would look to your Jupiter sign. And conversely, if you were looking for like a wife or a feminine counterpart, you would look to your Venus sign. But also Jupiter is a planet of luck um, and, and finance and fortune and whatnot. And so if you kind of want to see like maybe how your career is going or whatnot, whatever, you might want to look at Jupiter. Yeah. So I just threw that in there. Um, in case you guys were interested, yes. Also, moving on into 2020, my channel is now 
up and eligible for memberships and with memberships come different tiers of perks and whatnot and so over the year of 2020 i am going to be rolling that out i have some planning to do with it i wish i could roll it out you know january 1st it's ready to go but that's really not realistic because i didn't get the email the notification about it until like mid-December when I was actually, I was in the middle of recording the last Twin Flame reading that I did for December, which is a great one. If you haven't seen it yet, absolutely go ahead and watch that. But I got the email during that reading. And so I'm now, I got to take some time to plan and see what I want to do, what kind of perks I want to offer um, and all that kind of stuff. But that is coming. I'm super, super excited about that. Um, I'm going to be going through a whole rebranding process during the month of, or during the year of 2020. So I'm super, super excited to bring you guys more content. And I would, if you're interested in becoming a member, I would highly recommend that you do that because then that's going to provide me with more financial stability in order to devote more time to the channel and to the readings and to you guys. And there are more things that I want to offer, like tarot uh, services, like count, um, uh, counseling services. If you're interested in learning the tarot, um, that might actually be a membership perk that I'll offer, like a you know for members only weekly like tarot masterclass or some something like that. You know what I mean? I mean it's just an idea, but um, if you are interested in membership, I would highly recommend that you consider doing so once it's available, because again, that will allow me more time um, and, to be able to devote. To the channel yes okay guys so i guess that's it i'm gonna stop rambling and let's just get into the reading yeah cool hey there gemini welcome to your reading for january 2019 2020 excuse me january 2020 <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in so let's get into this for you gemini um as I was connecting with your energy before I started the reading, I, I was feeling a sense of um, kind of like trying to keep up some sort of appearance. Like your energy felt uh, fun and bubbly as no as you normally do, and yet there was there was there's like a twinge of wearing some sort of mask, as if you know that there's trouble afoot, you know that there's some sort of drama brewing, there maybe have been a past drama that is still kind of simmering under the, like, like under the surface, or, you know, it still has some heat to it. And it's almost as if you're just trying to like keep up appearance um, and pretend like nothing is wrong when part of you is like, eh, something's not right here, or it's something's, something has to change or something like that. Your overall energy right now, and, and I, well, but first, before I say that, um, uh, the, the, the card that was on the bottom of the deck right before I started shuffling for you to pull your pre-shuffle was the nine of swords. And I feel like that is kind of relevant for you right now. Um, but again, it's underneath the surface. So you get this, you have this two of pentacles here, which to me is saying is that energy of keeping up appearance, just trying to keep things in balance. Um, <laughs> I feel like there's some sort of choice that has been made here, Gemini, whether you've made it recently or it's from like the distant past, maybe the recent past, there's some sort of choice here that was not popular, was not a popular choice, was not well received. Um, there's a lot of external opinion. Now, if you guys, you guys follow me for some time, you know that I'm not one to really care too much about what other people have to say when it comes to the life of a certain individual in question. Um, I am very, I'm a very firm believer in, in the saying that opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one, right? That doesn't mean anyone's opinion is more re relevant than the other. And especially in terms of what it is you are dealing with in your life or what it is you want for your life, outside opinions really have little to no value. You know what I mean? In the grand scheme of things, because it's ultimately what it is you truly desire, what it is you truly want. However, with this situation here, I feel like whatever choice was made, maybe this was on your behalf, maybe this was on behalf of the cross watcher, I'm not sure. But what I'm feeling here, this is mostly the Gemini's energy here. But, but again, this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. But I feel like there was a choice or a decision that has been made that was from a place of emotional immaturity. Like, I feel like someone didn't really know how to really handle a situation well um, in a mature manner or whatnot. And they made a decision 
it, it just kind of feels like it was like a, a, a knee-jerk decision almost, as if you were trying to keep up some sort of appearance, two of pentacles, like you might have had it all together, like you know what you're doing, like you're ultimately right, when in reality, it's much deeper than that. But with this Page of Cups energy, I mean, that's not that's not going anywhere near as deep as you would need to go, okay? Now, the other thing that I'm getting here, Ace of Swords, Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords, it's as if, it's as if, okay, the truth is coming out or the awareness has started to sink in that, ooh, maybe I didn't make the right decision here. Maybe this was a, a, a knee jerk, a snap decision, but ultimately, whatever, I'm just going to keep going. Six of Swords with the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. It's like, okay, well, the situation is long done, probably. And it's like, well, whatever. There's no need to go back. I'm just going to keep going in the, direction that I, in, the, in, the, in the direction that I'm going in the choice that I've made. Yeah, everything will be fine. Mm, that's also kind of coming from this Page of Cups energy here, which is pretty lacking in emotional maturity. And it might be that you're kind of either you, Gemini, or maybe the cross watcher here is trying to really run from the situation or really trying to move as far away from the situation or remove themselves as, as much from the situation as they possibly can to bring some sort of completion with this Ten of Pentacles here so they don't have to face it, fix it, maybe even face themselves. Yikes. Okay, well. Okay, Gems. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see what else we have here for you, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of January 2020. I'm going to give this one more shuffle, and then we'll see what we've got for you. Okay, here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of January 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Gemini, I'm going to give this five shuffles for you, but I'm going to tell you right now, I'm seeing purple for you. Um, and in this case, purple is divine wisdom. There is something that's coming after, that's coming forward for you, Gemini, that you cannot escape, that you cannot run from. It may be manifesting as, as um, some pretty nasty, scary dreams, some pretty strong nightmares. Um, I'm receiving an image in reference to this that I experienced in the past before I really started dealing with all my own inner demons and started really facing myself and before I really got on this this twin flame journey and really got activated on this and really started moving through the process of self-realization and healing, I had this dream once where I was riding a roller coaster and then I got off the roller coaster, the roller coaster being my the, the roller coaster of emotions that I was dealing with at the time. I got off the, the roller coaster. I was in an apartment building and I was being chased down by this massive monster that I didn't actually see, but in like my energetic perception, I, I perceived it as this big, scary monster. And it was just like stomping through this building, trying to get to me. But it was really just the fears that I needed to face and the things that I needed to, that I was running from that was just beginning, getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger because I was ignoring it. I was, I was pushing it away more and more and more. And the more you push things away, the stronger it's going to be until you finally stop running, stop pushing it away and start facing it. That's kind of what I'm seeing here for you, what this purple energy is representing for you. So if you are having nightmares right now, or if you're having daymares, if you're having these like daydreams that are just like terrifying the absolute shit out of you, there is something you have got to face, Gemini. You have got to stop running from this. You also have to, mm, actually, yeah, I'm not going to go there. Number two. Three for my Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the month of January 2020. Number four. Okay. Number five. Look, I didn't want to go here. I didn't want to mention this, but Spirit is really pushing it. Um, and I'm going to say it. First of all, I'm not a doctor. 
okay? I'm not trying to diagnose anyone. I'm not trying to anything or whatnot, whatever. But what I'm, I'm getting a strong sense of some of you, someone out there may be relying on um, medications to cope, whether this is self-medicating through the abuse of drugs and alcohol or through the use of prescription drugs. And even if you are... Now, I, please don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those people that's going to to beat the drum of no one should ever be using pharmaceutical like pharmaceutical medications. If it works for you, if if it is if it is helping you find balance, if it is helping you find clarity and peace, by all means, use it as a tool to help you. But I feel like there is an energy of creating some sort of dependence on that, and I do not advocate for that. If you want to use those medications to help you heal and deal with situations and face your problems excellent by all means go ahead but spirit is bringing forward a message of cautioning you against allowing yourself to develop a crutch on these medications because ultimately that is going to only work towards really breaking down your body but number two it's only going to create even more of a codependence and even more of a rift and even more of a monster that's just going to be chasing you Okay, you have got at some point you have got to face your emotions, you have got to face your reality. You cannot run from this forever, or you will be tortured forever. Make sense? This is why these feelings are getting worse. Okay, all right, Gemini, let me cut the deck here for you. Boop. All right, overall energy. Denial. The Two of Swords. I'm hearing you got to start facing this. You're refusing to face something, Gemini. Underneath the Two of Swords is the Six of Swords. It's like, it's like you feel like if you don't look at it, it'll just go away. And you can just keep on moving wherever you're trying to go. And eventually it'll just, just disappear. Well, it might disappear for a while until it's ready to come back up again. And But you see, when it comes back up, when it resurfaces as that, at that point, it's going to be much worse than it was now. So you might as well just face it. Underneath the Six of Swords is the Ace of Cups, Gemini. Self-love. Whatever it is that you are, that is, that is, whatever it is that is chasing you down, Gemini. It's really just looking to be loved. The Ace of Cups here is not some... Oh, ooh, okay, and this is a message coming out for you, some of you. Some of you might be trying to escape in love, uh, like romantic love. 11-11 on the counter. Some of you are trying to escape through romantic love. Some of you might be serial daters. And you're, you're searching for some sort of love and validation from someone external to you to feel better. What you really need to do is... Start finding that love within. The universe is trying to help you. And, and, and I know this sounds backwards, but whatever it is that's chasing you down is the universe literally handing you an opportunity to love yourself better, to love yourself more. This Ace of Cups is internal love. This is not the love of someone external to you. Even if it's... Even if it's like a mother, father, a parent, guardian, whatnot, whatnot, no, you have got to find this love within, this acceptance within. Okay, Gem? Underneath the Ace of Cups is the Ace of Swords. I'm sorry, not the Ace of Swords. It should be the Ace of Swords. Instead, it's the Nine of Swords. But that Ace of Swords would do what? Bring you to the Ten, which would bring you to the completion. Gemini, again, this is an energy of you needing to face your fears. Stop worrying so much about it. It's not as bad as it seems. And if you were just, if you just face it and just get through that period of time in which you are dealing with the emotions, handling them, and healing from them you'll find that you will survive. You will come out on the other end and you'll be much better, much happier, much more potential to be happy and secure. But instead, you're, instead, of, instead of seeking that final sword to bring this situation to completion, 
you're focused all on the on on hiding from what the truth is that final ace of swords would be the truth that would set you free but you're stuck here in the nine which is the anxiety which is the fear which is the nightmares i mean this woman is this person is literally in bed and it looks like they're they're waking up from a nightmare or they can't sleep because their mind just won't shut up well there's a reason for that gem and it's not because you're mentally ill in, in the form of it's incurable and you need to be medicated for the rest of your life if that's something that you're dealing with. It's because there's something you're not facing. And I could go on a whole tirade about what I've, how, I, how I feel like the, the pharmaceutical companies and all these medications or whatnot are just are not good for us because ultimately they're just keeping us numb. It's not really, I mean, again, I'm not trying to pass judgment on anybody, and I am not a doctor, okay? I want to make that very clear. I am not a doctor. But as someone that has dealt with emotional and mental instability, who was prescribed, okay, I'll go, I'll go here with you guys. I was diagnosed bipolar. See, and of course, my camera just got blurry. Okay, I was diagnosed bipolar, and I went on lithium for a while. And it was helpful, but at this point, I really just feel like it was a placebo type of situation because as soon as I got out of the circumstances that were really only helping to further facilitate my mental and emotional imbalance, and as soon as I really started to dive deep and started to face what was bothering me, face my wounds and my fears and all that, I didn't need to be on those medications any longer. I found stability. I found balance. So again, I'm not saying that they cannot be used to help you find that stability and balance, but please do not allow them to become a crutch. That message is coming forward so strongly. And always, always communicate with your doctor if you're looking to come off of something. Don't just like say one day, to, see my camera keeps going blurry. Y'all don't really want to hear this, do you? Don't just go willy nilly saying like, okay, well, I'm just going to stop taking this now. No, you can't do that either. All right. You have got to work with your doctor on this. Again, I am not a doctor. I do not proclaim to be a doctor. All right. I'm just a messenger. And I do have some sort of life experience here. So it's not like I'm talking out of my ass. All right. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Let's get into the rest of your reading here, Gemini. First set of surrounding energies. Well, first half, second half of your reading. You could look at this as the first half, second half of your month. Uh, take it as it resonates. First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading. You have uh, the King of Wands here. Okay, I did hear overconfident. But you see, the King of Wands is very secure in himself. I'm not going to lie, Gemini. I feel like this is an energy around you. I don't really think this is you. I feel like this is someone, this might be someone who's experiencing or, or um, expressing some sort of narcissistic tendencies. I feel like this might be someone gaslighting you a little bit. This also could be an energy that you learned from. The decay of wands can also be a very prideful, boastful energy. Keeping up appearance while like crumbling inside. But I also feel like this is some sort of external energy for you. I don't know. Maybe this is your doctor. Maybe you need to, maybe you need to get a new doctor. I don't know. But the King of Wands is also an energy, could also be an energy of someone that's really only out for their own agenda. Like they really, they really don't care about what other people say or how other people feel. They have their agenda. They know what they want. They're not going to let anybody stop them. They're going, they're doing everything that they can to get what they want. But that can very easily, you can very easily cross a line into narcissism and um, extra, being extremely selfish at the expense of all others, Right. That's an interesting energy. Maybe this is you, Gemini, or maybe this is someone around you. I don't know. King of Wands is coupled with uh, the Four of Swords. Y I'm getting I'm getting an energy that let me sleep on it. You might want to get a second opinion here, Gemini. You really might, because this King of Wands energy could be someone that like 
I want to say can't see the forest for the trees, but I'm not really sure that's the right analogy. What I what I'm feeling here is that they're just so focused on what it is that they want that they are they either can't or are not allowing themselves or maybe even refusing themselves to see the bigger picture. You might if this if this is like a, a provider, some sort of healthcare provider or something like that, you might want to get a second opinion. I'm just saying. This person might be someone that's really only because I'm hearing bottom line. This really could be someone that's really only focused on their bottom line and nothing else. Okay. Really take some time, to listen to your intuition on that. You might want to take a break from this person. You might want to, you know, you know, take a take a step back and really work on trying to, you know, pull your energies back and like maybe reduce some of the influence they have on you. Because this also like this could be the narcissist that could be gaslighting you and could be helping you really be in this uh, mental emotional state of unrest and imbalance. Yes. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, in the first half of your reading, you have, oh, the Ten of Cups. This is what you want. This could be a family situation. This could be someone that's, uh, this could be someone that's using some sort of Ten of Cups energy here, some sort of ultimate wish, for, uh, ultimate emotional fulfillment to manipulate what I'm getting here, Gemini, is an energy of wanting to have a happy family type energy, wanting to have harmony, wanting to be emotionally fulfilled. But I feel like that's getting twisted somehow. Ten of Cups is coupled with... Shit. There you go. The devil. There could be... Ooh, chow. All right, listen, listen here. This could get pretty specific. This could be a father figure, maybe just a masculine energy for you. Um, but I am definitely feeling there is some sort of manipulation here in which someone is dangling the carrot of the Ten of Cups in front of your face, but then is saying to you, well, the only way that you can get it is if you follow my stipulations, if you do what I tell you to do, if you do things the way I say you should do. Yikes. Be careful, Gemini. Be very, very careful. I just heard narcissistic father figure. This is a general message. It's a general reading. So please take it as it, res take it, as it resonates. If this is not your father, maybe it's a mother figure. But that, that's specifically what I, I heard specifically. I heard specifically narcissistic father figure. It could be a leader, a uh, masculine energy in some way. Okay. Your challenge, <laughs> as if that's not challenging enough. Your challenge in the current or in the first half of your reading here, Gemini, temperance, balance. The challenge here is balance. The challenge here is finding a way to harmonize with the people around you. It's finding a way to be a part of some sort of family structure or, or whatever else, however else this resonates. Be a part of the community, be a part of the structure while not having to conform, not having to give up the essence of who you are just to be acceptable, just to be a part of the unit. Finding that balance. And Gemini, quite frankly, if you cannot be a part of the community, if you can absolutely cannot be a part of the equation while still truly being yourself, then maybe it's time you look at whether or not you should actually be a part of that situation at all. I'm just saying, that's what the temperance energy is coming forward as. Because temperance is all about alchemy, is all about ba balance, striking a balance. It's bringing two opposing sides together, or maybe even multiple op opposing sides, or multiple different compounds together, and integrating them to create a greater whole. This is not about giving up your individuality just to be accepted or just to be a part of the pack. This is about finding a way to... Alchemize. That's the challenge here so far. Temperance is coupled with the hermit. And the hermit is the energy of knowing yourself on the deepest or maybe some of the deepest levels possible. Allowing your light to shine. Being true to yourself. The hermit also represents the walking the path of 
self-discovery, self-awareness. It also could be walking a solitary path. Maybe some of you need to walk alone a little bit. Maybe some of you really do need to isolate yourselves a little bit so that you can get back down to the core of who you truly are outside of all the conditioning. Okay? Your closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading here, Gemini, you have excellent, the world, completion, cycles coming to an end. Yes? I like this. But this is a challenge also, Gemini, because this is big. This is not just some like, you know, everyday circumstance or, or cycle that's coming to an end. This is like a big life changing cycle life say life changing um closing out of a cycle you know what i mean like this is like a this is like a major turning point in your life to the point where like you may never be the same temperance with the the with the the hermit in your challenge you may never be the same but that's necessary at least it looks like it is here the world is coupled with Yep, there you go. Page of Pentacles, starting new. The level up, the glow up. Moving on to the next phase of your existence. And yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge too because you're going to have to find your footing. You're most, most definitely stepping out of your comfort zone here. Okay. But it's worth it because with this, the, with this completion of the world and stepping out into the Page of Pentacles energy, this is... A new sense of independence and autonomy. It's almost as if, okay, some of you could be dealing with a Saturn return right now, integrating the energies of a Saturn return for you, because I do remember that did come out in the Capricorn reading. And I do recommend that, that people, if you feel inclined to do so, watch it, even though it, you may not have necessarily Capricorn in a major placement. It's just because we're in Capricorn season right now. And I really feel like the messages that came out through that reading are really quite relevant you know, to, to, to anybody as we're in this season right now, but, and we do have Capricorn here with the devil, but this absolutely could, yeah, this definitely could be a Saturn, uh, dealing with a Saturn return energy. And I was feeling that very clearly in that reading. So yeah, you, I could have been talking to you, Gemini or whomever, it could be anybody, but and if you're not familiar with what a Saturn return represents in your life, go ahead and look it up. I'm not really a deep, that, that strong of an astrologer, at least not yet. So I really don't feel comfortable explaining it to you, um, but check it out. Okay. Actually, it's interesting because today I was just, I was listening to like an astrological report for January, 2020. Um, and it was, and the woman that was, that was, that was explaining was talking about saturn returns ironically it's really kind of funny but she was saying that you know your saturn returns your saturn return happens around 29 30 like happens when like you're 30 and you're kind of integrating that until up about the age 33. i know for me i'm 32 right now as of the time of, of the time that i'm recording this reading and let me tell y'all every time i speak to anyone about turning 30 i always say when I turned 30 is when I feel like my life really started. Like I really was like, okay, we ain't fucking around anymore. It's time to get serious. And actually when I turned 30 was when I was in an energy of starting my channel. I turned 30 on May 6th of 2017 and on January 8th of 2018 is when I started my channel. Fast forward two years and here we are. I'm 32. I'm going to be 33 in 2020. And over the last, over this past, we'll call, we'll say three years, even though it's not May yet, but we'll, over the last three years, I have absolutely been integrating and putting into practice whatever Saturn, the Saturn return brought up for me. Okay. So this is very, this, I mean, that's exactly what I'm seeing here. The world and the page of pentacles. Okay. Now it doesn't have to be a Saturn return for any, for all of you specifically, but this definitely is the closing out of a cycle. And moving on to the next. And I'm hearing set, or at least if you're not actually moving on to the next cycle, setting yourself up to move into the next cycle. Or the process of integration is what spirit is saying. Okay. Whew. Okay, Gemini. 
Let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies for you. You got ta. Okay, well, there's that two of pentacles again. Keeping up appearance, but also... You know what? You know what? No, it's really not that much of keeping up appearance. There might be some energies of like throwing on a mask here or there just to make sure that people are not overly concerned about you. But also this is the effort that you're taking to, to really find true balance in your life. And, and the, the strongest thing I'm getting from this card for you, Gemini, right now is what does balance in my life look, for, look like for me? How do I strike a balance that makes me happy, that, that makes me feel fulfilled? Take out all, this, all the external influences. What does balance look like for me? And no, I'm not crazy for wanting to express myself a certain way or wanting to live my life a certain way. That's your conditioning, not mine. That's not what my heart tells me. That's not what my higher self is guiding me towards. That's not what the universe is helping me manifest. So what does this balance look like for me? Says Gemini. Excellent. Two of Pentacles is coupled with... Mm. Five of Cups. There is some sort of loss that you're going to have to deal with here, Gemini. There are some elements that are of toxicity, hive mind even, with this Three of Cups here, that needs to fall by the wayside. Yeah, you're going to have to, you're going to mourn that a little bit, okay? Don't get me wrong. Allow yourself some time to grieve for that which is falling out of your life. But recognize, Gemini, that it's falling out of your life for a reason. It was toxic. Yes? Okay. I like, I like where this is going so far, the second half. Let's see what else we have. Second half, uh, uh, second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Gemini. Okay, I really like where this is going. Ten of Pentacles. This is, a, this is the completion. This is the completion of the circumstances. This is the completion of the life lesson. Look at how it's falling right, right underneath the Ten of Cups. You've got a 10-10 right there. Beautiful, Gemini. I really, like, I really like where this is going now. Ten of Pentacles is coupled with... <laughs> Justice. I know that shit is right. And looky here, Gemini. First of all, this is, a, this is a card of Libra. You might be dealing with a Libra. It doesn't matter. I don't really like to focus on the signs. But for some reason, I, I felt like I should say that. But looky here, Gemini. The woman in this card is holding that ace of swords that you need to bring this situation to completion. The sword of truth that is going to bring balance into your life and that is going to, that's going to balance the scales and that's going to close out the situation for you or help you, help you close out the situation. You have to be the one to close out the situation. Like You have to take certain actions in order to do so, but also the universe is going to try and help you. Will, not try, will help you. You also have to take some sort of action first, take some sort of initiative, okay? I really like where this is going now. Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, you've got, ooh, the Hierophant. Yeah, Gemini, you are going to have to face the establishment. Face the indoctrination. I really feel I'm, I'm I'm surprised we don't have judgment here. Um, that doesn't mean it's not going to come out. It might come up later on, but this is kind of giving me an energy of waking up, of enlightenment. Okay, but yeah, the challenge is 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 standing up to the establishment, standing up to the patriarchy. I'm hearing, standing up to the indoctrination, the established way of being, maybe even the hive mind that we were talking about with this three of cups that's spilled over in the five of cups here. Okay, uh, the hierophant is coupled. Uh, also, this could be a, a family structure. Is also what I'm getting here with the hierophant, challenging that, working to reshape it. A father figure specifically, I am getting, for some of you, for someone out there, there's a, there's a strong patriarchal figure or father figure here that you are needing to face the facts about. Ooh! That's what I just heard, okay? But now that doesn't mean that you really need to strive to make any sort of change for them or, or influence them to change. What I'm getting with that is you have got to face the facts about this certain individual in your life that you may have been holding so 
near and dear to yourself or so in holding in such high regard because the more that you tangle with this energy and the more that it you find that friction between this energy and what your soul or your heart is really telling you the worse it's going to get okay you've got to face something about this the hierophant is coupled with yep look at that the five of wands differing of opinion this is a, a gemini I, i'm telling you it's really that simple this is literally nothing but a difference of opinion. And instead of honoring your own opinion and, and, and honoring what your heart is asking you for or what your higher self is guiding you towards or what the universe is trying to get you to understand, the more you keep yourself in this cycle of unrest, instability, and drama. I know it seems like it's got to be more complex than that, but it's really not. It really isn't. But I guess what makes it even more complex is the fact of needing that validation. Because if you're really in an energy of needing that validation, then you, what choice do you have? Mm. Take your power pack, Gemini. That's the choice you have. Closing message or potential outcome in this last half of your reading here, Gemini, you have, well, 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 the two of wands needing to make a choice. Choosing to take your power back, maybe? Hmm. Two of Wands is coupled with... Ah, there it is. The Seven of Wands. Boundaries. Holding your boundaries. I'm hearing staying firm, staying true in who you, to who you are. Making a decision and sticking to it. Choosing your, traje your, your trajectory, choosing your direction and standing firm mm -hmm. standing up against the opposition for sure and i'm not even saying this i please please don't get me wrong i'm not trying to say this is like a you against the world mentality no absolutely not however this is a situation in which you have to choose for yourself and then you got to stick to it you got to follow through you got a lot not you got to not let anybody sway you okay all right gemini let's get your oracle guidance here one last shuffle for you gemini okay here we go Oracle guidance from my Woo! Okay, all right, all right. Well, there it is. <laughs> Give me a second. I gotta get it off the floor. Hey okay. So we have card number 40. Hiyaka, sorceress of light. Focus you. Wait, wait, wait. There it is. Sorceress of light. Hiyaka. Okay, here we go. Come on, focus. There we go. No enemy shall defeat you, not by night, nor by day, not upon the earth, nor in the soul. You are divinely protected and empowered. You shall fulfill your destiny with joy in your heart and laughter in your belly. Play. Be in nature. Feel the freedom of happiness within you, even though, I'm sorry, e feel the freedom of happiness within you, even in this moment. These are your sacred powers, and with them, you shall take every step upon your journey successfully, and nothing shall thwart your divine destiny. In a reading, this card says, ask for healing, mentoring, or assistance to support you now. This support will help you feel stronger and more empowered so as to deal with any challenge and be reassured that your spirit can handle it. There is spiritual protect protection for you now as you follow the guidance to explore conscious movement and creative self-expression. This can stir up old energy, releasing it from you and allowing vital presence to take hold within you. 
you are going through an initiation in which you will need to restart your hap I'm sorry, reassert your happiness and joy anytime it slips into the darkness of doubt, fear, and anxiety. Take time to dance, sing, drum, and affirm your aliveness with joy and courage. Become spiritually bolder in the face of anything that attempts to diminish you. Have faith in the power of the divine being, the supreme power. You are watched over by love. And actually, Gemini, this is, um, this is confirming what I was picking up on the energies of some sort of awakening or enlightenment, like the judgment energy that I was feeling. It says, um, you are going through an initiation in which you will need to reassert your happiness and joy anytime it slips into the darkness of doubt, fear, or anxiety. But the, 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 the phrase, you are going through an initiation, really stood out for me, okay? Because this is what I'm picking up for you here throughout this reading. Okay. So there you have it, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope this was helpful for you. Um, I'm sending you so much love. Please do not hesitate to reach out to, to speak with um, a therapist, a healthcare provider. If you're feeling like you're kind of being, a nip being manipulated here or something just doesn't feel right with you, please do not hesitate to get a second opinion. Um, and please understand that you're not weak. You're not weak at all. Especially if you've been struggling with reaching out, getting some sort of help, seeing a therapist or anything like that. And you're kind of saying to you, you have this kind of like belief, maybe this father figure or this patriarchal figure here, or this masculine figure has helped you to um, develop this complex to help you feel like if you were to like seek therapy or something like that, you're weak minded in some way, but that is absolutely not the case. It is actually a sign of strength for you to be able to reach out for help. Okay. Okay. So with that said, I love you all so, so very much. Um, I hope you have a fantastic month. And if you, if you would like to look at your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All the information is in the description box below. Okay. With that, I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of February. Yeah. Take care. Mwah. Bye.